Hello all and welcome to my video. Um, I have a new little update I wanted to show you. It's something I wanted to show you. Um, I thought about putting pictures on Facebook, but then I said I will do it this way. And the statement popped in my mind from, do you remember these, like, we call them poesy album? But I don't know the English word, but it's like this book and you can write, you, you give it to your friends and then... Each of them puts like their statement or something in it to kind of remember them by, for you to remember them by. But the statement popped in my mind at the time. And also life um, kind of, uh, it just moves so fast that I don't know or see how I can like keep up. Like I can't probably put everything out there. But then one of the things I never got to um, putting out there and telling you was... The thing with how, you know, maybe if you, maybe I thought it, but, and then people don't think that you think it because you haven't told them, they haven't heard it. And also, and one sentence was, um, what could I do? I didn't have the time. And then there was another one. This was, but this was then, so saying it now is kind of so different and weird because it fits so well in that time. But now I'm thinking, well, if I'd maybe gotten to tell people this, but um, I was gonna tell you at the time, I was thinking to tell you, I wanted to tell you at the time, like maybe if there's something that you noticed, like in me, that I was still learning, most likely I probably have noticed it. I wanted to say those words at the time. Because, uh, well, at the time, a lot was coming to my attention, and I was learning, and well, we always are, and I, I am. But today, there are obviously different things, but at the time, I wanted to put that out, and then I don't know if people really, like, would have noticed or did notice things, but we always notice things about each other, so, and at the time, I wanted to tell you, most probably, it's already come to my attention, and then it's something I'm, you know, like, either working on or praying about that the future will bring that to me that I get to work on it so now now I'm at the time where I think if I got into those words maybe that would be useful for this time because people might understand better than that there's things which you know you're gonna get to and there's things you you live through them but you might not get to putting everything out and there are already new things in this day but um this was from I don't know how many days exactly Yes, was it yesterday or the day before or something? It doesn't feel so long ago though. And I wanted to share it with you and it was really beautiful to me. And so if there's ever anything like, because I'm trying to catch up a little bit now with the more recent past, so to speak, but I just don't know if I can ever get to everything because life is life, you know, there is something in everything, in every moment. Um, with some moments we really notice it more than others. I wanted to share so so much to like thoughts of the past and if it relates to then because I, I thought recently like if even because I mentioned once it's maybe a bit weird if I put something from the past into now but then I'm thinking at least you've heard it like I was thinking but at least you've heard it like then if somebody needed those words or at least you've heard it you know it was there you know it's something I thought or it's part of the so-called blueprint of life it's something that's there so this um i, I remember it but now i can't even remember it. um um i think i'm starting with the most recent one no second recent should i start with a more recent one that happened actually today. Should I do it? Because I, as I was talking about teeth today. And realizing learning. I want to say relearning. It's like I hadn't learned them. I had maybe heard it. But I hadn't learned it yet. Or not to the, the same depth anyway. Um, it's learning about teeth. And this was like I woke up. And, it, and I had a dream. So I put it out what, was in the, what I learned from the dream. But then. And then it just kept going and like new things 
will come through me and God like made me like realize that I'm like, oh yeah, that's true. And I'm so glad I'm feeling back on track or back on top of things. You know what another thought was when we feel on top of things, it's like the height of like the positive energy that we're actually feeling. And I had this kind of thought like, um, like it's almost like we're on top of ourselves when we're on top of things because when we can like, I don't know, handle what's coming at us or dealing with, it's like, I don't want to say control because that sounds controlling, but so to speak, if we're in control of ourselves, like in terms of, like we, or we feel like we can handle ourselves, then we can handle what's coming at us. For want of maybe better words, because I know control control is very. It, it can be a very in, like in a negative sense. It's controlling. It's obviously completely the opposite. But um, and I never really used that word in this sense. But today I did. Um, and I was talking about braces. Some of you might have um, seen it. And you know the thing that like, uh, a smile is really a special thing, or I, I phrase it the other way, but. Um, and braces almost had that sense of, like, brace yourself, like, you know, you're putting that, um, force or pressure on your teeth, and it's almost like, and, and that's why, um, Flüsse gerade ich die Menschen sind stolz, I, I remember, and it's in German, but it's a poem I wrote, which I think, um, a two, from 2002, so it's pretty young still then, um, let me just see if I can find it, da 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 but, um, and it came back in my mind because it, it felt the same. It's like kind of the same meaning when I'm like, I'm, I wrote that when I was, you know, well, how old was I in 2002? But, um, it's a rather long while ago. Um, so here's a poem. And it's there. Flüsse begradigt, Dimensions sind stolz. Which means, um, rivers are, I don't know what begradigt actually is, but gerade means in a straight line. And so rivers are like, but God, it sounds kind of good, but actually if we force the river to flow, you have to flow it this way. You can't go against the stream. Actually, um, dimensionless thoughts means men or humans are proud. Well, proud, the word rhymed, so it kind of, that's why, I don't know if we're proud, but it's sort of the irony of like, thinking or seeing it as a good thing to actually kind of, forcing nature or talking about me having mentioned the word control in that sense it's really the opposite than positive so it came in my mind i wanted to share and it's like the value because i'm um, actually i have started co copying some of my poems into another notebook and it's like now i'm starting to think you know the value that some of those things hold the truth was already there then so it's like i mean i'm not saying this poem was just so great but it was one of my well, earlier poems, but but the truth of the truth of life is already there wherever it comes through, and then if something can have such a value, now I'm starting to think it's actually more valuable to me because I don't want to really hold on to the past and like carry it with me as like a heavy. That's another thing I wrote, but in another context, which I would get to that book later. But um, even if I won't get into that specific theme, but. I didn't want it to be like feeling like you know. I mean, you can look at it; it's so old, but the value. No, it's beginning. It's it's like re, not reevaluate, revalue. It has like the old becomes new, and that's so valuable again because now you're learning it to a deeper depth. And like, we yeah, have braces. It's like sorry, it's kind of like the same meaning. So actually, my mom had this um published. I see. Yeah, it's there. By the way, this was, used to be one of my favorite. I never like show anyone because like I never like want to show off with it, but it happens to be here, and my handwriting might be harder to read either, and it's it's just nice. But this used to be one of my favorites. Did that for me uh, in an anthology. Um. So it's um. Oh, it did kind of change the. Well, there's another one of mine. Um, I almost confused the title. I'm just like, this was like my go-to poem. Like, I think it was the first one I really loved or something. 
at first, I was like, mm, Mom likes poems. I was like, mm, let me try that too. And I'm looking back. The first one doesn't have to be very good. You just have to. That's completely unrelated to what I want to tell you. But you just have to keep trying and keep going. It's kind of what I'm learning too, though. It's like, you kind of have to keep trying and keep going. And just like, not just blindly keep going, but keep trying. Um, My first poems, I mean, in my opinion, were, were, weren't very good. Personally, don't love how I did things because I didn't know how to do it yet. It was the first time I tried. So yeah, of course it was gonna be like that. Um This might have been the first one, should I show you? Dun, dun, dun. Leave it. Um <laughs> because of what it is, but it is so hard. I will get to publishing those poems. Um So, because it says the rainforest um, is chopped down, um, rivers kind of, I guess I'm going to call it straightened because I don't know the uh, English word for it. Uh, man kind of proud. So, can't you my mind? It's almost similar to what we do with our teeth. And just all trying to be, even conform. Even that's where it, maybe with. Well, children, we try to like, well, we, in school, we just make, well, people, well, we, we are those people that were children then, and almost like, oh, we kind of conform, it's almost like we do that with the teeth. And there were a lot of more learnings around that, but I put them on Facebook, so I'm not going to repeat them, but I wanted to share those. Oh, I haven't taken, oh, I haven't taken my book with me. Let me show you this pretty picture while I'm getting the book, but I put that on. But it's just the, it's from The Hobbit, and it's, it's that thing with the teeth. Where, which I could never forget all my life, but I didn't know why. Out of so many things in a book, that particular thing stuck with me. Let's see, oh, no, I remember the page, because I just took a photo. But I have a German version here, but... Um, it's the, uh, um, 32, I don't know, sure, like, white horses on a red hill, I guess. Oh, I don't know, first day mom, I don't know if mom is the right word in English. Um, but it's that thing with the, the, um, okay, it's a, oh, great. Once you start speaking in German, it comes to your mind in English anyway, but it's, it's that thing with the teeth. Where I got and Bobo kind of play that guessing game, uh, you know, um, about their life or for their own lives. They play for their lives and they're about their lives. We had an expression, um, sein Leben aufs Spiel setzen, and it's you bet your life on something. Because betting is kind of like guessing, and they guess and, um, or tell each other these mystery things there. And it's like, well, if you bet your life on something, you might lose it, you know? That's kind of what they did. Even though they kind of didn't, but Gollum kind of lost it, but he also... That goes to the theme of th sacrifice, but he didn't really know he was sacrificing. That's all right. But... He had his part to play. Why am I getting into Lord of the Rings? Um... You know, but that's just something recent that came up. Wow, this video is like 13 minutes long. I've said like two, three things. Um, excuse me. Okay, excuse me. So let me put the ones to the side. Okay, I did all of them. Okay, because I'm like, if I keep this in like everything I've already shown you aside, then I won't get confused. Um, so similar thing like these statements but they kind of all tie in with each other because they all kind of are statements from what i thought was so long well so long ago and it's obviously way like way before i did this what i'm doing here that i've come to call work this work that i do or what i do here but um it's just so yeah long gone there are things you can never forget and it's Interesting how I didn't know why I couldn't even forget them. And I remember it is something. Oh no, I have a card and I don't know where that one is. 
Oh. Well, let's go step by step. My grandma had told me. I have to actually see it too, but this is a, savvy, a second thing I wanted to do. And these friends, um, I'm sure they won't mind if I show them, but it's like it popped in my head and I was like, yeah, that's, that's oh, it's there, right here. And she has, no, wait, that's not, oh, that's not her. Um, this one's her, but it's like, I, I, I don't know if she, people would mind if, you know, even though you think they won't, but it's not for you to tell, but she has passed away as I, I have kind of told you, but I couldn't put that out because that was a recording which got deleted and that was so, I thought it's so perfect and it was so perfect for Father's Day and I wanted to like share it with you guys and now it's gone, but there were some other, other things I can put out. Um... But um, I I'm seeing this coming that this video is going to be, once again, pretty long. You just don't think that because you can think it so quickly. Um, oh, I was learning this and it's like, and I will translate it for you, but and, uh, in English. But I, I remembered it. It was so funny. Like, 2000. But it's so long ago. That's 20 years ago. And by the way, Grandma, I love you so much. Oh, hearts. Um... She has passed, so I think it would, and, you know, I thought that statement that, like, or the sentence that it would be, you know, okay to show you because, you know, she's passed, so it's probably okay. And, and, and I, and after that sense I got, but this is a while ago, it's like I can't tell the stories the same way because as I was experiencing them, they were different. So that's why it's so kind of difficult to, like, tell you how I experienced them at the time because it was a different time. But at the time, I had this sense of, like, maybe that her presence was around and I wanted to tell you about like presence and the difference between like it's not like a creepy weird presence but when you say you know if I say I have sort of an online presence or even on stage and if you come from a theater background you have a stage presence like a presence kind of a presence and God is ever present and but now I'm looking back like I wonder if what if she if it was really her or if, if she was really there of it was something that Christ and God needed me to feel so that I would put out what I was, well, did put out and also the things that I was gonna get to putting out, um, like that recording, uh, for me, for other people to know whatever it is they needed to know from that. But, um, what was I saying? So, but like, I got the sense, like, I just started thinking, you know, what maybe. She knows what I'm, what if she knows what I'm doing here and what, why I'm doing it and what I'm trying to do with this and what if she's supportive of it? Well, I'm pretty sure you would be supportive, but what if she even is supporting it or, you know, in heaven because heaven is like, I can't see you, you know, or maybe she is reincarnated uh, into this world. I don't know. Maybe even elsewhere. Like, I don't know, but what if she, you know, it, it feels like. I don't, I'm just gonna go with that she, she could be supportive of this and she might be happy that whatever you guys are drawing from it because it feels so personal but you don't want to make that choice for so many but because she's passed away I feel like it's okay and to show you and it's so cute and like she drew all this and she loved owls so which is lovely but you also have feathers which is I will tell you later about it I might make a new video about that because I thought this was gonna turn out to be like faster. I don't know how I always think that or, but it was so cool. And I remember it and, um, and in English, I will, is I will. In German, I want, is I will. I actually posted it on Facebook. Oh, I posted it like the statement, but that, that statement popped in my head. I'm like, didn't, you know, some, my grandma told me this, like, and I started, is it a postcard? Was it in this, where is it in this book? And then I, I was like, let me check, but I kept thinking, wasn't it a po postcard? But then I read it, I'm like, oh yeah, it is this one. Um, ich will, das Mo Wort ist mächtig, spricht's einer ernst und still. Die Sterne reißt vom Himmel, das Wort ich will. And it's almost like, because I found myself saying, I will, 
and it was a game on Facebook, and it was like, oh, your future is going to look like this, and like, you know how they do, like, depending on, like, pick your birth month, or pick the color of your shirt, and like, I don't know, and like, depending on this, it means this, and, you know, you will end up on Mars, and, or Pluto, and like, da da da, but I felt myself saying, because I was going to write the sentence, I will, and it's it, like, I really did feel the strength of it. Even now, I don't know if I'm if I can phrase it exactly how I would have said it to you if that had been like life. But it was kind of like I, I found myself like I couldn't say it because it felt like blasphemy. And I wrote about that on Facebook, and it was but it was like I I, can't, I couldn't say. And especially you know with something, with some answer are more plausible than others. But if it's like you're gonna move to Mars, and it's like. I can't say that for God, you know, I don't know what the plan is. It almost felt like blasphemy that I was, because that's not for me to know. It was like, I, I, I only need to know like the first step. And I, I had that um comparison to a flashlight where it illuminates like the next step on your path, you know, like we see far enough for us to see we can tackle it or for us to take that challenge on and try and make those choices based on that by not our whole life so it, it really couldn't say the words I will because what this game was telling you is like you know you're gonna have this car and you're gonna but it's the area where you uh, the living area was March so I was like I couldn't speak it out because for the first time I really really felt the strength of the words I will as you know how I mentioned boy, earlier in the journey about like and we invoke things into life like in energy when we actually like, say them or even even through thinking but thoughts happen so fast but then even like but we have a choice there and I don't know how to tell you how strong I felt that well strong will is a good word because it's like but if it is is I want but to me it's almost like beginning to kind of dig, begin to kind of merge because I should say mesh but like because will and want is different, but will and want is like, I will if I really want to, if I choose to, and they like both have a power. But I guess in German there's like a slight difference, in English there's a slight difference if I translate, because I wanted to keep the will there, because that's where I actually felt it. But it's funny, that even though it says, kind of, technically it means want, but the the actual word you actually write is W-I-L-L, -L, which is the same spelling. And it says... I will, oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm trusting for that, well, I want, but, um, this word is powerful. Or, well, again, there are, like, different nuances with words in German, but if I get into this, this video will be even longer and longer, but, um, if somebody speaks it in earnest and, um, and, uh, well, still, stillness, and they're in quiet, quietly, also, and it's earnest, but also there's like sincerity. So if you if you speak it sincerely and it's almost like speak it to yourself, like not that others can't hear it, but like it's stillness, you know, whether or not they like your word. Because sometimes when, people, when we start talking, it's like the words sound great. We might have a huge audience, but actually, then when it comes to actions, need to follow, right? But this is even when we say it to ourselves, just like I will. Do. Even if it's just us who hear us. When we say it out of sincerity and we... Even if we're the only ones who hear it, like I or, you know, you to you. Then still, that is just still so powerful. And maybe it's powerful because of that. When you actually say to yourself, I will do that. And a lot of times when we were younger, we have dreams, dreams and we say, One day, I will do this. And it says, um, the stars, it can sort of... You know how you say, I will take like the down the stars from the sky or like grab or like we say reach for the stars but also we can't literally always take those stars from the sky and it would be a little bit bleak if we took them down but just kind of the words not coming to me but you can literally well, this is like rip it rips the stars from the sky it rips the stars out out of their sky the word i want in german it's i want but i will the one i want to believe in is i will so, um, but the thing with it is sort of taking the stars out of the sky is sort of something you can't do. And then this word has like a gripping on this to it, like it's gripping it, it 
literally told you. So I really felt that since that when I was playing this game. I can't say I love this and that because first of all, it was kind of blasphemy I think because I wouldn't have known and didn't think so even with this particular example I have a reason but uh, I can't even you know say I, I don't know what God thinks I, I didn't know what plans he has for my future and all the trust is to be on him and it's and it is on him and it's like I can't I can't say that I can't speak for that but I don't even see that yet the allegory with a flashlight or you can make it a um, lantern or something it's like I, you don't maybe see the whole path but it, it, whatever he has illuminated for us that's where we you know we, we walk, we stand up and we walk and take stands and we walk. But not like, you know, and then because it was Mars, so it was pretty, uh, it was like, I feel like so far from what I, I mean, I don't know how to express that because I, because I can't speak for him. But so far, but I also learned earlier that, you know, there's a re we've been given this planet. There's a reason why, you know, I'll be looking after this planet, so. But it wasn't the Mars thing, but it was just an extreme example that it really felt more like blasphemy. Like, um, but uh, I can't speak for him. I can't, I don't know what plans he holds for my future. Like, I can't say that. And I know it's it's just a word, but I, I really felt. But when we take that energy into consideration and be and are very, what do you call this, decisive or precise with our intention as to like why we chose to do what we do and choosing it it becomes a very powerful word like the statement says so that came in my mind and like i said i figured out it's here and i was like i'm gonna show them because this is so cool and you know some people might have their own thing to say of whether or not they wanted to be shown but she has passed away so and it's it's probably okay it's probably okay now but also because i feel like I just think that she has a she. I I just I can't even. You know, it's not annoying yet, but it's like, is it annoying yet? Where you're just like. But in my mind. She's supportive of what I'm doing, and maybe even. If she knows, but if I'm was just saying, if she knows, she definitely be supportive. But I feel like, I feel like. Even if she wouldn't know, then she would still be supportive if she knew. If that makes sense. But it's just like, and another thing I thought was, you know, if somebody who has passed can always be with you in one way or another, and it doesn't mean anything spooky where, you know, your presences are, I don't know. Um, simply for having that faith and sense that yes you know she's home now like what i have come to call home or used to call heaven but with heaven i found out it's it, i mean you could go on speaking forever it has like this sometimes a sense of like it's just kind of, we do use it differently and different people use it differently home is like where you get to where you go to when you come back from wherever you went after you left it Um, so, um, maybe she loves this, and I, I love, maybe she loves too, that I love, how much, you know, this, she has given that to me in 2000, yeah, in 2000, um, and, you know, I'm showing this hugging tur turtles or turtle because... They're holding, I'm still holding it close, and it's almost like holding the love close that, I mean, we've given each other. She's given to me, or given me through these words, and me to her, me to her as well, and like, it's like, still holding the love close. I'm holding, I, I held these words close all my life, because I never forget them. That's why I remember them. I never forgot them. You know, it's something, you, it's, it's like off your mind, but it's never really gone. There's some words stuck with you, and... It's funny because some words, I didn't even like them at the beginning that much. And I started wondering at them, like, why did the person say that? What does it mean? And some of those words, they grow to mean so much to you and are so meaningful and important. And I'm, I'm not finding the words right now, but it's like through those words, the meaningfulness of 
what she has given me during her lifetime. It's still with me. I'm still holding it close. And these two turtles are hugging. And it's like I'm getting her. This is what I meant with presence. It's not like something spooky, but it's like even her essence, the person's essence to hold. Those words had come up at some point. Hold their essence close and keep their essence in your life. Like, not in a strange way. Because one of the... Okay, I'm going to get to that later. But like in a, in a good way. This way. In this way, for example. Like the truth of it. The love was already there before she wrote the word. I don't know if she knew, but they might have meant so much to her in her life. And now it's being passed on to me, which I don't know, but... The love, the truth, the, you know, the, the God-given truth of that comes through to us through words. Such as these or others. It's already there and it's so very real. And it's like, maybe the word presence. But it's here. It's like, I don't know how to say it. Um, but, you know, we used, and we used to always hug when we said goodbye. Every time when we left. And we kept that up. Even, you know, when I came to visit her from England. Which was then rarely, but... When we said goodbye, we would always say, um, doll, doll, am dolsten, which meant we kind of hug, you know, tight, tighter, tight as like, because hugging is so much that it lost you till the next time you see each other. And that's exactly what they're doing, but there are just so many layers to things, you can't really capture it all. But I w really want to share these words with you, and I, I figured, I mean, it does feel a bit personal. It feels really personal. It's like a piece of my heart I'm sharing, but also this book as a whole, the whole point of this book or purpose of this book obviously is people leave kind of personal comments some maybe more personal feel more personal than others but like i said um since she's passed it's probably fine and i wanted to share with you the beauty of it and this is a visual medium so i wanted to share i wanted to share it's like you kind of marvel at that because the words never left you and it was there all along in a way even when it's kind of stashed in your subconscious or like so semi because you don't think of the words like all the time but then we remember, oh yeah, my grandma told me that, you know. But now it's like back, um, kind of more than ever, or more in your face, or in a way where it's a deeper understanding of, because of the experience I had there. But I talked about that on Facebook. Well, um, and um, yeah, so there was another one. She wrote that, she gave me a card, and it says, that, but that's a very famous one from Antoine de saint movie. Um, where he says, I don't know the English way, I know German and that's French way, but that we only see, well, with our hearts, basically. And the kind of, oh, the essential things are invisible through the eye, which is interesting, but it fits kind of right in with this. And it's cute because she, ooh, I don't know if I ever got that. She pointed out the hat to me, my grandma did, because there's a card of a girl with a hat. I should really have the card. I don't know where I do. Well, maybe if I get time one day in the future. Like, you know, this one time I never got around to show you this card. Um, but uh, no promises. But there's a card that was a girl, and she had her head, like, she had, she like a, like a child, but the head was too big for her, because it was an adult's hat. And she had pulled it half down her face. Ooh, that's why she told me because she wore the hat. I never understood that. Because of the snake in the in the little prince where he where the, it looks like a hat, but really it's a snake that ate an elephant. Remember? This is how deep things run and like I don't know when she gave me the card, but I mean this is from two thousand and it's like so many years you're like I get that. Like, the truth is never gone. The reality is, it's us really more like us waking up, you know. Um, but we are at 34 minutes almost. So I would like to wrap up this video. And um, would like to thank you for watching. And thank you for being here. And I'll do the second part of the other things I wanted to share with you. It's also something you know, notebook related. It's also something grandma related. Or maybe to other people. You know, different people. Maybe somebody has passed away. Um who was not your grandma, maybe somebody else, but if this in interests you or if that, if you felt something positive, like it relates to that theme as well, you might uh, like to um, watch that too. And I will put that, well, I will um, film it now. Or should I upload this first? I'll decide that in a second. But I would like to thank you for watching and send you all the love in the world that I can. And I hope 
it's touching your heart and i hope you're feeling happy i hope you like this video i hope you love the statement or maybe the statement meant something to you if it did i'd love to hear it in the comment section i would also love to hear if you have these kind of words where somebody once told you and you never forgot it like what was that for you that would be very interesting and fun to know and maybe especially if it was something written down and something like this or you know and you just and it meant something even then and i needed all this time to evolve i needed my life to like evolve to the point where um i would understand why those words were so big and meant so much and in a way it's starting to make me like wonder will it mean something more deeply in the further future one day but that's you know written in the stars a million miles away so i'll see you soon 35 minutes almost 36 so uh, before it gets to 40 minutes i will say goodbye and thank you again for watching but i would love to know if you find something in these videos and i hope you like that i'm sharing this with you it's kind of a really personal thing to finally open up as you even do with books so um or well about so i will see you hopefully I, I hope to see you um back in the next video um because i'll be filming that probably in a minute if not if life doesn't if nothing else comes up sometimes we say life comes in between us it's really like it's really it really is life but um okay before i start talking more i don't want to stick to my promise so or it's, it's not a promise but it's i want to do it because i said it and i'll see you in a minute or whenever that's gonna be for you but i will see you soon thanks again take care and you know what finding closure dun, dun, dun.